Hey, 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 Elise Lightyear here. I am an expat and content creator living abroad in China. This is the third installment in my vlog series about going to Yangshuo in southern China to learn Chinese. In this vlog, I'm having noodles for breakfast, going on a raft trip, obviously taking Chinese class, and I get to meet my Instagram bestie in real life. Let's go! Alright, let's see what it's about. This is a meat fan, right? It's a meat fan. Oh, I want this. Is it 2 or 3? Yes, it's 6. And these rice noodles. I have some thinly sliced beef and egg. And these are crispy soybeans that I love. Very, very good. Guess what I just found? This slice of heaven. Wow. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. You took us to the Nasjada. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. She asks, "Is your hair real or fake?" What a tofa jenda. Jenda. Ah, she thought it was fake. No, bujada. Jenda. Jenda. <laughs> Driving my scooter around, I found this beautiful little farm with this incredible scenery and I'm like, oh my God, perfect place for photos. Cause as you see, I am by myself. Ain't nobody here. Ain't nobody around for me to ask. Li kai bang bang wo pai jiao ma. Can you take my picture in Chinese? So I gotta do it all myself. I feel like I want to buy a scooter now. But Beijing and Yangshuo are totally different. The traffic in Beijing is too hectic. Why do I have the urge to move here? Because it's wonderful. I can't stop spinning and twirling and having photo shoots everywhere. I walk into school and I thought that I was awesome today. And I find this guy, and look, twins! We wrote sentences for each other. Yeah. He gave me some difficult sentences. <laughs> and you can say no, your sentences are so difficult. I did, and then I tried to make my sentences more difficult. My beautiful wife is going to Guilin tomorrow to buy a Chinese cell phone. <gasps> yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> so, I wrote, 我的漂亮老婆
过明天去桂林买一个中国的手机。Oh, almost very good. Almost. Okay. Change, change one the position. The first the, oh, adjective. Now, oh, okay. In this lesson, we focused a lot about grammar and sentence structure because that's where my partner and I are having the most trouble. Okay. Here is my sentence using subject, location, verb, object. We learned about a noun modifier called de, and the easiest way for me to explain de is that it is very similar to apostrophe s in English, which indicates possession. I'm sure that there are other uses for the word de, but I just don't know them yet. Omeda's teachers are very good teachers. Mm -hmm. Omeda. The Laosher Sher Hen Hao Laosher. You miss one. You miss one. Omeda the Laosher Sher Hen Hao the Laosher. Okay, do you want to eat tasty dumpling? Ni Yang Sher. Ni Xiang. Ni Xiang. Sher. 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 Hao Sher. Jiao Zi Ma. You are missing the. I'll eat the jowls. Yeah, you want to eat the jowls? Yeah. You want to eat the jowls? Yeah. This one is. This one is. This one is. This one is. This is the first meal. 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 爸爸 on the boat. 船上爸爸 is the green. 船上爸。一些毒。It's a little bitter. Oh, 毒 is bitter. 毒毒毒毒 like cuckoo. Oh, cuckoo. This looks like. Imitation turkey bacon. <laughs> it's gooey. Ooh, it's very gooey and sticky. It doesn't really taste like anything. Yeah. Yeah. My standards are very low for traditional Chinese desserts. I'm sorry. I hate to say it, but they ain't got nothing on American cookies or cake or sweet potato pie or peach cobbler. The most exciting thing is that my very good friend. Jess is coming here to Yangshu. Jess and I have been friends for nearly three years. Since 2018, before I moved to China, she was already here. Um, we got our TEFL certification from the same program and they do incredible Instagram takeovers. So I watched her Instagram takeover she did for them. She was a beautiful black curvy girl flourishing in China. I wanted to know how she was making it all work and taking incredible photos. Like, her life looks incredible, and her life is incredible, and I'm like, I want to get some of that. So, just how a lot of people reach out to me on Instagram, I reached out to her. Boom, we hit it off, and ever since then, we talk on a regular basis. Then, I moved to China in 2019. Here we are in 2021, and can you believe me and Jess still haven't met? But that all changes today, ladies and gentlemen, and I am so hyped! Oh my god, there she is. Oh my god. Oh my god. I see Jess. I can see you.
and my hair, your hair is cut in a bracelet. I have these same earrings. I know, that's why I'm wearing them. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm finally here with you. I can't believe it. It feels like I already know you, so this is like, you're so dramatic. <laughs> Hi. Because it is like, yeah, oh, hey, it is. Hi. It's just like, oh, hi, but like, nice to meet you. Oh, my God. Yeah. Why nice is she like this? Why is she like this? <laughs> All right, we already know each other. Oh, my God. Oh, cool. Wow. I'm in China. <laughs> Dancing for Santa. Yeah. 